was a reason that I had not yet bought a Nintendo Switch. On launch, there were many issues with the Switch console. Scratching the screen when taking it out of the docking station. Cracks in the top of the case. Warping of the Switch tablet. Dead pixels and a low battery life. Well, I got one. Hey guys, what's up? It's Vampire Bride, and well, I got a Switch. As I said in my why I have yet to get a Nintendo Switch video, Switches tend to come with quite a few issues. This one was no exception. It is warped, but that is a common issue with Switches, and honestly not a huge deal because everything still functions properly. The big problem here is that the speaker is blown completely. By that I mean absolutely no sound is coming through it. There are two speakers in the Nintendo Switch, so it still has sound, it's just not loud enough. Luckily this isn't too hard of a problem to fix. It's cheap and easy to get a replacement speaker and not too hard to switch out either. You will need a tri-wing screwdriver. The speaker I bought came with a kit with everything you will need to open up your switch and change out the speaker. However, I really like the screwdriver in my iFixit toolkit, so that is what I will be using. To get started, first we have to get into the outside casing. It has 14 Phillips head screws, including one under the kickstand, as well as four tri-wing screws. Not really sure why they use two different kinds of screws, but this is apparently a Nintendo thing because they tend to do it on all of their devices. Once all the screws are removed, you can gently pry the casing apart. Once that is off, there is a, another bit of metal that you have to remove. It has seven more screws, including one under this little ribbon cable that will also have to be removed in order to access the speaker.
Once the case is off, you'll be able to see the speaker. You can use some tweezers. In this case, the little kit we had came with some to unplug the speaker and get the speaker out of place. It looks as though this speaker was drowned in coke or something. It was covered in something brown and sticky and it was quite well stuck in there. So it was a bit difficult to get out. That should not usually be the case. Usually it should come out quite easily. Because of how nasty the speaker was, we had to clean it up a bit before putting the new speaker in. And that's it for removing the old speaker. Now put the new one in. Plug in the tiny cable and make sure that the cable is out of the way and will not be in the way of getting the case closed properly. And then reverse the whole process in putting everything back together.
I hope you guys liked this video and that it was helpful. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up button and of course subscribe for more videos to come.